Right, so continuing on from the previous video, you're going to also now talk about the fact that you're using a questionnaire. So I will use a questionnaire. So you're going to address it. Now you need to do the context, which is how are you actually going to do it? So you need to discuss how many questions are going to be on your questionnaire, what kind of questions are going to be on your questionnaire, what are you actually going to ask about? So you've got to say something like, I will use a questionnaire that consists of oh, consists of um, 20 questions uh, covering a range of, of um, topics such as content of dreams, uh, why people um, wait, contents of dreams, um, how often people dream, um, etc. and or in the form of open and closed questions. Something like that. Um, that's got context in it, you've said what you're actually going to do. Um, in fact, you might want to say on paper, just to make it very clear, um, and then you kind of need to say a strength of questionnaire. Now, whenever you're doing strengths of something, you always compare it to the other thing. So questionnaire is a research method. So you can either compare it to an interview or you can compare it to another research method. So, I mean, you might want to compare it to an interview. Maybe that's easier. I mean, we can have a go at that. So um, a strength of using a questionnaire is that it is uh, standardised um, as the same questions are printed in the same order uh, each time. And so when participants complete them, they should give uh, reliable responses about uh, dreaming. In my own research on um, what have we interview people about, my own research on um, oh, this is why you need to prep something before you go in, like you know, think about. Um, oh, let's do beliefs in the paranormal because that's one that we've had before isn't it in my own research on beliefs in the paranormal i interviewed i interviewed participants participants um now it's at this point that i've just had a kind of like thoughts so basically an interview takes a long time um, there's also lots of data to analyze um so you can see any of these points, but you'd have to put the strength in here. So I've talked about reliability of, of, of responses. So when I talk about my own research, I'm going to have to talk about when I interviewed participants that they didn't give reliable responses. And I'm going to talk about the fact that it's unstructured. Now, I could have said in the first one that it's quite quick and convenient. And when I did an interview, it took a long time to analyse the data and do everything like that. So I have a small sample. I could talk about loads of different things. So you have to plan it first. You can plan these bullet points before you go into the exam and just change the context on them. So you can have something ready that you can talk about beforehand. So you need to prep everything before you go into the exam so that you're not stuck in the exam because it takes ages to think about what you're actually going to write. Um, and that's when you make mistakes and you lose marks. So for this one, um, in my own research on beliefs in the paranormal, I interviewed participants, and as I used an unstructured interview, unstructured interview, um, I asked different questions to each participant, and so the results were often unreliable. Therefore, um, a questionnaire should make the results about dreaming uh, more consistent. And then that's it, that's all you've got to say. Um, so if we have a look at this, you've got, I'll use a questionnaire, so that's the addressed point. You've got, because uh, it's a 20 questions, covering a range of content of dreams, etc. in the form of open closed questions, that's the context. Uh, you've got a strength of using a questionnaire, blah, 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 all this stuff here is justification. So it really helps if you highlight because you can see, are you actually doing what you said 
or what you aim to kind of do. It's actually linked to your own research and we've got some context of that one. And we've got what the problem is with it and we've mentioned terminology because we've got that unreliability there. And then here we've got justification again and we've also got about dreaming so we've got some context in there. And that's it, again, that's all you've got to do. Um, and then you'll get the marks for that.